I have to admit that as a young man, I was a bit skeptical about this thing called higher education. I dropped out of university after one year of study because I felt like the classes that I was taking just weren't preparing me for life and for ministry in the real world. At the age of 19, I left as a missionary to southeastern Mexico, where I spent six years living and working among the poor. And at that time, I felt like everything I would need for ministry and for growth, I could get through my own personal study and through my own experience. But there came a time when I realized that I just wasn't growing in the way that I wanted to grow, and there were too many questions that were going unanswered. So when I returned to the United States, one of the first decisions that I made was to re-enroll in university studies. By that time, I had a family, I had children, I was working in full-time ministry. But as I studied, I was thankful for the ways that the subjects I was researching and the books that I was reading and the lectures that I were hearing undergirded and supported the work that I was doing in my everyday ministry. Many years have passed since I first came into full-time ministry and I've had some amazing opportunities. I've taught the Bible in 35 countries. I've led a missionary training center. I've served as a lecturer at a seminary in Ecuador and now at the University of Roehampton in London. And if there's one thing that I've learned as a teacher and as a leader, it's this. I cannot give to others what I myself have not received. That's to say that if I want to be a good teacher, First, I must be a good student. And it's for that reason that I've never stopped studying. And I guess I can say now that I am a believer in higher education.